Hi, I'm John, and welcome back to Dice Paper Miniatures. Well, it's Preview Sunday, so in this episode, we get a chance to look at everything that will become available for pre-order this coming Saturday, as well as my thoughts on these releases. All right, let's begin. So we're back with another episode, and here we have Sunday's preview, and uh, it's a fairly decent one, I think. So to begin with, we get the uh, the new Chaos Space Marines Codex, as well as finally releasing the new Combat Patrol box set. So I've reviewed this box set when it was first announced. It's pretty good overall. I'm not a huge fan of a Hellbrute being in this box, but as I understand it, I think it's a little bit better now in Ninth Ed, so I think that's fine. It's just the other sculpts are newer. That Hellbrute, I think, has been around for a while. But it, for the most part, holds up. I was a little bit more critical of it before when this was first announced. But uh, now that I've been collecting some Space Marines, or Chaos Space Marines again, <laughs> I'm a little, a little less critical, I suppose. Uh, the value on this box, though, is, is just okay. These typically sell for $150. The individual sets you get in this particular box, if you were to buy them individually, the price works out to about $218. So you save about 68 bucks. That being said, if you weren't really cool with getting a Hellbrute anyways, and you just wanted to get these a la carte, yeah, you're, you're not getting a huge savings. But if you wanted all these models, then you are. Recently, I wanted to get the actual Chaos Space Marines. I already had a Dark Apostle. I didn't want Havocs, and I definitely didn't want a Hellbrute, so I just went ahead and spent like the 60 bucks for a box of Space Marines. That being said, uh, you can get them cheaper, probably from your local game store or online for about 15% off. So through that lens, yeah, $150, you'll probably get this 15% off too. So not a great deal, but not bad. Again, you get a Hellbrute, you get a normal box of Chaos Space Marines, you get the Dark Apostle as your main character and a Havoc Squad. So, yeah, not bad, not great. You do also get the dice, of course, which I'm partial to. But that being said, way too much, I think, for these dice. I think they average around 35 bucks now for a set of dice. There's usually only 20 or 19 in a scatter for 20. It is what it is. Uh, and then, of course, your data cards. I do think the art, though, for this particular release is is pretty great. And what's cool is you do get access to an art print. These typically, I think, run around 50-some bucks. They're cool. I like them. I wish for the money they were bigger, but if they were bigger, you'd probably pay double. So you win some, you lose some. <laughs> now, the other Combat Patrol box set we get is for the Gene Stealer Cults. I, I really do like this particular faction. Uh, it's great because you can use it in 40k, of course. You can use it in Kill Team, and you can use them in Necromunda. So I think as far as like armies, the most bang for your buck, always Gene Stealer Cults. That being said, they're not necessarily great. I'm hoping that, uh, well, I haven't played them much in 9th. I had a lot of high expectations for them in 8th Ed, and... Uh, in 8th edition, and, and they were okay, but I just like the sculpts. I like what you can do with them in skirmish games, definitely, as well as Necromunda. Big box, 40k, kind of a mixed bag. But that being said, the value in this box is pretty good. Way better than the Chaos Space Marines. You get a Goliath, which is great. Again, now that we're going to have the new Book of the Outland. Outland or Outlanders? I think it's Book of Outlands. That's it. For Necromunda. Uh, you can kind of build small, medium, and large type vehicles. And I think they actually have rules for the Goliaths. So if you're playing Necromunda, I think this is maybe like that in and of itself justifies getting this box because you get a lot of Gene Stealer Cultists and a Goliath. But as I said, Goliath, you get a Magus, two uh, Neophytes, two boxes of Neophytes, a box of Aberrants, and a... Uh, I think they're aberrants yeah aberrants and then a box of the acolytes so that works out to be a total of 276 dollars in value 
for 150 bucks. So yeah, you get a savings of 126 bucks. I know it's still a lot, of, but regardless, value wise, one of the better combat patrol boxes. Uh, there really, in my opinion, isn't a stinker model. Even if you don't want a Magus, uh, it's just a cool looking character model that you could use. Again, uh, there's rules for it in Kill Team. There's rules for it. Well, maybe not necessarily rules for it in Necromunda, but it's a cool alt model if you want to use it um, or create a character model. Uh, I think I think this is a great box. There's really, I don't see why you don't, if you're a Gene Stealer Cultist player, why you wouldn't consider picking this up. Unless, like most Gene Stealer Cult players, uh, somehow you always acquire a lot of these models um, because they do put them in so many different game systems. You may not need them like any of these, but if you're a new player, one of the best boxes out there, I think. Now, you don't get dice this time around or data cards. Um, I'm not sure if we got those previously. Unfortunately, when you do a lot of this content, a lot of things get memory hold over time. I know things like uh, lately with Age of Sigmar, some of the battle tomes came out before uh, their dice and their war scroll cards. And I think they might have done the reverse. I know we just had a release for like the Chaos or Chaos, the Gene Stealer Cultist Saboteur uh, model recently, that character model. So maybe we had the dice already. Comment below. <laughs> I'm getting old. I can't remember these things. That's my excuse. All right. If, they, if they're not out yet, they're coming. Let's put it that way. Now, that being said, speaking of things that are coming out, the rule book for Warhammer the Horus Heresy is, is now out. Or will be next week. Um, if you're playing <laughs> the Horus Heresy, you probably bought the big box that just came out this week. It was on pre-order for two weeks. I know my local game store, kind of a mixed bag. They got 20 copies, which according to them, for every five copies of the box, you got the opportunity to order like a Rhino. I think that also applied to the Kratos as well, the tank. Personally, I pre-ordered or tried to pre-order two Rhinos, and I got allocated because they only got four in. Kind of a bummer. I did order some online. They were supposed to ship out this weekend. They're still sitting in pending. Such is life. But if you were already a Horus Heresy player, and you have basically your entire army already built and painted, and you only needed the rules, here you go. You didn't have to wait much longer, which is nice because... I just mentioned like Necromunda a little bit ago, that Book of the Outlands should have came out the same week as that new Ash Waste box set came out or the week after. And I think it was like five, well, it'll be like six weeks since that's come out. Give a week, one or two weeks, whatever. Uh, it's, it was a long time coming. And so fortunately for the Horus Heresy players, you didn't have to wait as long. So that's good in my opinion. <laughs> and you also get to order uh, Mark VI Space Marine. So again, I do think where GW may have dropped the ball, and we'll see that even further based on uh, the releases they have for Necromunda here shortly, I don't think they've dropped the ball so much with Horus Heresy. That being said, still not perfect, but better. Definitely better. And these Mark VI Armor Space Marines are pretty rad, I think. They'll probably retail for 80. That seems to be what the Mark 3s and Mark 4 retailed for recently, so I'm expecting those to be 80. And now we have the other uh, character model that was teased when they did the one for Thousand Suns. Uh, now we have the one for Space Wolves. And the Thousand Suns one, I believe, went for 3350. It's still on the market. Well, it's still on the GW website for sale. It did not sell out. So that's cool that this one you didn't have to wait too much longer. And it's going to be probably thirty-three fifty as well. It's a cool sculpt. If you're playing Space Wolves, I don't see why you don't pick this up. And then the Legiones of Stardays, the Praetor, in Terminator Armor, and the Chaplain Council. Uh, this Chaplain was actually, both of these were available in the uh, Betrayal, Betrayal at Kalth. That's it. The uh, Horus Heresy box set that came out like three or four years ago, I believe. It may have been longer. It may have been 2017. Regardless, that was a great box set. In fact, if you're an idiot like me, you didn't buy one then, you bought one now, and they go for like 300, between 300 and 350 bucks on eBay, 
which is more than double what they were initially. I think they were like 140 or 160, but now they're around 300 to 350. But if you buy that box now, not only do you get these two models, you get 30 Mark IV Armor Space Marines and I believe five, it's either ten, five or 10. I think it's five of the uh, Cataphracty Terminators. So again, when they initially sold out of the Mark IV armors and I really wanted Mark IV and I wanted these characters and I had no idea, again, because I'm an idiot, I went ahead and bought uh, <laughs> the Betrayal at Kalth. Um, I won't say how many of those boxes I bought, but I wanted more than 30 Mark IV, so yeah. And I wanted multiples of these, so yeah, don't do what I do. Uh, learn from my mistakes. <laughs> but the cool thing is, these are going to be available now. I would actually recommend picking these up because FOMO is a real thing. And I'll talk more to that here in a minute. But those Mark III and Mark IV Space Marine armors have sold out. They're temporarily out of stock. Have no idea when they'll be back in stock. And I have a I have a sneaking suspicion that these will also uh, be temporarily out of stock relatively quick because they are pretty like Legion agnostic. They can fit into anything, whether it's loyalists or traders. I'll say I have at least two sets. I may I may pre-order one more, maybe two more, uh, just to be on the safe side because I think these models are rad and. Uh, yeah, my my horse heresy army is already like out of control on what I bought, and so might as well just keep that momentum going. <laughs> All right, and then they offer this is kind of a weird one. They had dice. Now maybe I do think they actually did sell out of these dice initially, so maybe these are just a, they're back in stock. They might be different designs, but they seem they don't seem that way. In fact, let's go ahead. Yeah, so they are different. They are different. That's weird. So they have clear looking Imperial Fist dice. And I thought they sold out of those uh, Sons of Horus dice. Yeah, so those look, that's super bizarre. I don't know why they do these things. So the Sons of Horus dice look like the old ones, basically. But the Imperial Fist dice look nothing like the old ones. They're translucent and the old ones were opaque. I have no idea why they do these things. Uh, if I was an Imperial Fist player, I'd probably be a little upset. At least if you're like a, a collector or a purist where you want all your dice to be the same. With that being said, these things are overpriced, so you probably won't even buy these anyways. But if you do, <laughs> they're different. All right, and then we have the Black Library stuff. This, uh, this Death Guard, the Pale King Limited Edition, that's pretty cool, I will admit. All these limited edition books are pretty cool. That being said, I typically try to get my stuff on Audible because I hardly have no time to read Facts of Life. But if you were able to read and you collect these, that's a cool looking uh, addition to your collection, I think. And then it looks like we have, uh, yeah, just some more shorts. And then this looks pretty cool. Night Lord's Omnibus. Just different languages. Yeah, I would argue kind of a short preview Sunday, which as far as your wallet's concerned, probably a good thing. But let's be honest, you're probably buying at least one of these, if not more than one. They're probably going to retail on eBay. They're going for like 55 to 60 bucks. I'd imagine that's probably what they'll be priced at. You know, they're probably, yeah, they're probably 60 to 65 on GW. We'll know more this week. And then again, this should be $33.50 if it's comparable to the Thousand Suns character model. Again, this one is actually from the Burning of Prospero, which is a little bit more expensive if you were to buy that aftermarket on eBay right now. Betrayal at Kalth is like $300 to $350, and Burning is like $325 to $375. On up, of course. Um, I don't think the value in Burning of Prospero... Well, let me back that up. The value is actually better in Burning of Prospero as far as what's incorporated or included in that box. This one's in there. The Thousand Sun one's in there. There's a unit of uh, Sisters of Silence. There's a unit of Custodian Guardians. Uh, and there's 30 Mark III. It's kind of a mixed bag, though, because I think while monetarily the value is better in that box, I'm not so much a fan of Mark III armor, and I really don't need the Custodies. So when you remove those models from the equation, uh, you get... 
five Tartarus armor terminators, which are cool, but there's only five. And these two character models, which are cool if you play Thousand Suns or Space Wolves, but if you don't, yeah, you might as well just wait to buy these a la carte, especially since the price on that Burning of Prospero box is so ridiculous. Um, even if the value actually still holds up. In fact, I think the value is still kind of a net zero at this point. Um, but Mark VI armor. Uh, I would be surprised if these sold out temporarily, like the Mark III and Mark IV. But I guess anything's possible. Frankly, I don't see why you just don't buy the box. Uh, because you get, what, like 60 of them? And uh, you get a lot. And then you get the rule book still. You get the Spartan Land Raiders. Like one, I guess, not two. Um, and then you get the Contempt of Dreadnought. So I don't... And then all that you get like 10 or 20 Terminators. I should know these things. My mind's kind of jelly right now because I've been trying to <laughs> get caught up on everything. I did the uh, the last two weeks, which I thought I would get done in like three or four days. But I did a video for all the Primarchs and the uh, the Legions. If you haven't seen those videos... Uh, at the end of this one, there's going to be an end card with links to those, but there's probably some links up above. I did a video for each of the Legion rule teasers that they had earlier in the month. I did those over the last like 10 days and I, yeah, I'm kind of like fried on that and then trying to get caught up on everything else. But here we are. It's Sunday, but I may or may not be recording this and releasing this on Monday because, <laughs> uh, yeah, reasons. Um. But where this particular Sunday preview maybe lacks in quantity, I think it quality wise, it's a great, it's a great uh, preview. But there you go. What are your thoughts on this particular announcement? Are you cool with what we're going to have available for pre-order next week? Were you hoping for something else? I always say I'm hoping for Necromunda stuff and we didn't get anything unless you look at Necromunda adjacent. Then you have the Gene Stealer Cultist Combat Patrol. Yeah, Necromunda adjacent release for sure. But that's it for this one. If you've enjoyed this content and haven't yet, please consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell, and sharing this content with your friends. It really does help with the growth of the channel, and it's super appreciated, for sure. But yeah, as always, I hope you're doing well. Be safe, take care, and I'll see you all again soon. All right, bye-bye.